today at Hampton Court Palace and we're here to see the flower show which I'm so excited about and actually this is great because I haven't given you guys a big up life update yet so I can give you a bit of an intro on me and I'm just really excited to bring you guys on today so let's go saw at Chelsea Flower Show. I'm not sure the company but I'm sure that if you inquire you can find something out but um, they actually look really inviting and I actually would love one for my own garden and actually for my own herbal garden so I can actually do a lot of my herbal preparations here. So um, yeah this is looking really fantastic so far. Thank you so much for allowing us to have this interview today. So, can you talk to us a little bit about the, your inspiration behind the business? Yeah, well, I, I, I suppose I've always liked to work in 3D. I think I see textiles as something that's, that's a sculptural, really. I always, always have. Um, there's something called um, stump work, and I was fascinated by stump work when I was a kid. You can, you can see, um, see them in historic houses, um, stump work boxes in historic houses. So I sort of, I've always seen textiles as a 3D medium. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. It's been a pleasure, pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. getting to know the company and everything. So okay. thank you so much. That's hey guys, so actually I've stumbled upon something really interesting. So this is Birds of Paradise. Now I don't know the botanical name, but one thing I do know is one of the rarest flowers in the world. Especially more so compared to, um, say, the uh, gosh, anything about rare flower right now. But with these flowers, what you find is they come in several different varieties. So you've got ones that come a bit more blue, a bit more yellow, a bit more purple. But you would never really get this with Birds of Paradise because they lean towards the orange side. Um, yeah, I don't know how that works. But anyway, what is this? Let's say. And um, these are really wonderful because they grow so well in the garden. They give you a really nice tropical feel and they can exist in um, maybe any climate. So they're perfect to grow at home. But um, to get the seeds now, I have no idea. I think they're quite, it's quite difficult to get the seeds. But once you've got them, hold on to them. So um, but yeah, these are like fantastic. And uh, Birds of Paradise, one of my favorite flowers. So if you want to buy them, find a garden center. coming around to near the end of the day and I think um, the place is still packed and there's still so many people busy buying stuff and everybody looking at the flowers and I'm surprised this year the show isn't so much about the flowers it's more so about um, like the garden fixtures and features and everything so you have a lot of summer houses glass houses you have a lot of trellises and a lot of um, potted plants I guess as well of course you would and um, I'm really enjoying the show this year. And really what I'm looking for is I'm on a herbal research mission. So what I'm doing is recording my uh, collection and sort of like an inventory of herbs and plants. And then I'm putting them back into my research and searching out the medicine, medicinal benefits of these herbs as well as the spiritual benefits too. So this is what we're doing here at Hampton Court. And I'm really excited actually because I get to bring you guys along with me. And um, and it's just going to be fun overall. So. And our mission is actually to find herbs that are going to help general ailments that are really prominent in society now. So um, things like cold and flu, things like heartburn, or things like indigestion, inflammation especially. These things are so prevalent in society, I really just want to help and contribute to what I can, to be honest. And if I can use my my knowledge on herbalism and medicinal herbalism especially then so be it so um, I'm really excited to bring you guys along so just enjoy the ride Hartley 
Tannic and I'm really excited to be here because I've seen this amazing glass house or greenhouse. I'm not sure which one, but it's beautiful and I want to buy it for my own garden. So um, now what we have here, we're going to have a look at some of the plants here. So this is a chili plant and the only thing I can say is don't plant this inside your home because you'll cause a lot of anger and mahala and you don't want that. So plant it in the garden because it will stay put there and um, you won't have a hostile environment and that's what we want to avoid. So yeah, so the chili plant is um, really good for actually clearing mucus so it's an expectorant and what it does is it actually ex excretes the mucus out of the lungs so anybody with any respiratory problems or any mucus build up it would help build take that out of the body and over here we had another plant somewhere that i saw I think, oh chive okay well it's not quite chive but okay this is chive so chives chives are used for seasoning they're used in culinary arts they're used for um blood cleansing i know mainly but i don't i don't know much about chive but i do know that it can be used for blood cleansing and it makes food taste very nice so next we have another plant that I can't remember the name of, but I am sure of the herbal and medicinal benefits. Oh no, okay, so this one doesn't have any benefits, but it is a very beautiful plant. So this is a white orchid, and um, these are really popular for a lot of women especially. It's a very feminine plant. It has a lot of um, love and relationship, spiritual stuff attached to it, so I guess maybe that's why, who knows. But um, it's a very, very romantic plant. And it's a plant that is on a lot of people's windowsills, dressing rooms, dressing tables, um, bathroom counters, whatever. It's just something that is um, nice to put in the house. And uh, I know there's this thing of people not putting plants inside the home because it takes out, well, it takes oxygen. But I feel personally, as long as you do your research and you know what you have in your house, spiritually and physically, you'll be okay. are in the other greenhouse and this is also from Hard Lit Botanics. So here they're growing tomatoes which I am actually admiring so much. They look really healthy for this time of year especially and really what I want to do is um, have my own garden, well tomato garden let's say and um, what you'll see here is these, well these are actually in, they're in the growing phases and um, they're green right now but tomatoes are actually green when they're growing. So they're not, I don't actually grow red, so they, eventually they do turn red once they're fully grown. So um, yeah, these are just fantastic and I can imagine they taste really juicy as well. So these must be lovely. And um, over here we have a few perennials, we have some plants, you have this, I don't know the name of this, but this looks amazing. So this is a type of succulent um, because of uh, the, the succulent here. So, but these, I don't know what these are called. They don't actually look real, but they are. So they look really amazing and um, I can't wait to find out what they are actually. And I actually thought that we could actually make um, sage smudge sticks like these actually. But um, yeah, they're really fantastic and I really hope to make something like this one day. And featuring it on the channel as well, to be fun. And then the rest of these plants, I'm not sure about the names. I know of them, but I'm not sure about all of the botanical names. But these are all lovely plants, perennials that you can have in your garden around the springtime or the summer. So Ian, thank you so much for allowing us to have this interview. It's fine, hi. Can you tell us a little bit about the company? Right, the company, um, I'm an artist, blacksmith and sculptor. Uh, this is my 15th Hampton Court. Uh, wow. We exhibit here everywhere we have done for the last 15 years. Um, I mainly work in metals, um, in steel, corten steel, stainless steel. Um, we do a full range of sculpture from, at, at the moment on our stand, we've gone from 32,000 right down to 10 pounds, but that's a tiny snail that I showed you for someone just to walk away for a bit of fun. I mainly work commission based, but there are pieces on the stand that we can sell um, like the sculpture behind you here. It's all different stuff. I like to work with water. I think that's quite a creative thing because it's a moving entity and I think it adds interest. And I really like the way water combined with metal, the sound and how gentle you can make it feel. 
quite a lot of my work I do, I use plant forms like here we've got the giant leaves, the oak leaves, we've got um, the, the lilies, um, the giant bulrushes and the water sculpture bulrushes which are over here. Yeah, so I do like organic forms and plant forms, that's mainly what I do. Perfect. And are you guys on social media? Yes, as well? we are, yeah. So yep. do you have the, um, the name? Is it Ian? Yep. Ian Gill, Ian Gill Sculpture, and that's on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. No trouble at Thank all. You. So thank you so much to agreeing to this interview. Can I ask what the company name is and what you guys do? Okay, so my name is Jenny Van Wyck and I'm the founder of Surfing the Sea of Life. And so I'm a Reiki practitioner, I'm a life coach, and over the last eight years I've been, um, I like to call downloading a model around the principles of surfing to help what? people, to help groups, um, understand their energy, where it's coming from, where it's going, um, and how they can learn to harness it to achieve their goals, uh, achieve you know, optimum health, thriving relationships, abundance, whatever is really, really important to them. And, um, and I use basically this model that I've created, which is kind of like a, a permaculture model for how we see the world around us, where we can keep people, planet, and um, the, the natural world, animals, all in balance with us. And, um, and I do it through workshops, talks, I do Reiki sessions, I do coaching, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, and so it's been great kind of getting that message out there this weekend. Thank you so much for allowing us to have this interview. So can you tell me a little bit about your business and what you do? Um, so my name's Sam Britton and I am Serenity Sound for the Soul. So yeah, my business, I, did lots of healing, um, I did Reiki, various other modalities of healing um, and I just happened to come across, I think I was searching for something and I came across sound healing when I was doing a Kundalini yoga class and, um, and I went along and I just felt the first time ever that I think I'd actually felt this really internal peace listening to these beautiful instruments and I thought I need to train, I need to learn how to do yeah. this. Um, and I did, I did a, a, an intensive like, 18 month course um, and we learnt how to use voice so that's where Serenity comes from, have a deep connection with the sea and I bring, I, I tend to use my voice in, in a lot of my healing work and my sound box. and uh, so it, it just developed from there really and I share as much as I can, help people to, to connect to their voices, connect to themselves and, and just be able to have a little bit of everyday peace in their lives and it doesn't have to take long to do that so I try and share that with as many people as possible and I'm here today um, because I had this vision a few years ago that I wanted to bring um, lots of different therapists together because I have so many amazing people in my life who do amazing things um, and lots of different healing modalities and I've got a background in in kind of permaculture and various other sort of land based land based studies um, and I just had this vision probably about 2017 of, of being able to do things like this and I had the opportunity and here we are and I've been able to bring lots of amazing oh, women actually it's ended up being women bring amazing women together and helping people to connect to themselves but also learn about themselves and dip into different therapies as well. So I kind of do my serenity but there's another side where yeah. I, I like to bring people together and share. That's beautiful, that's amazing and I think bringing women together any space is a good thing in general, you know, just people bringing people together, congregating, just it's just amazing and it's beautiful and I think it's something that should be promoted especially when it's for self-care yes because we all have a shared connection so thank you so much for this interview today I'm really excited to hear more about you and the company so tell me a little bit about the business so my name is Natalie and I founded Integral Wellness which is a nutritional therapy clinic so I'm there with a couple of other registered nutritional therapists and our role is to really support people in getting to the root cause of their illnesses. 
a lot of people walking through life putting up with feeling pretty terrible and assuming that certain things are just normal you know headaches bloating reflux these things are just normal and we all experience them that we don't have to and these symptoms are really signs from the body they're messages from the body telling us that we're in a state of dis-ease which is where the word disease comes from that the body is unbalanced and it's really crying out for certain nutrients to help it find balance again and those nutrients are in our food. Mother Nature gives us those nutrients. So we really go back to food and really look at how we can bring that into the diet, very specific to that person and what's going on for them and how they're feeling. Bring those nutrients in through the diet to enhance and bring their body back into balance. But you know, that's exactly what I'm studying at the moment now when I've recently done a course in um, Chelsea and um, we talked about harmonizing the body with food and herbs specifically mm -hmm. and uh, medicinal herbs. So yeah. that is amazing. That is exactly what I'm studying. And um, I'm very glad that we had the interview today too. and we've been talking to some wonderful ladies today and I really hope that you all enjoyed the videos today. Hi guys, so now we are closing up and we are finishing here at Hampton Court Palace at the flower show and I feel so blessed to have met such wonderful, powerful women who are all clearing the way for their own businesses and making making just making history you know and it's amazing to see and i'm really happy to have come here to the flower show today so guys thank you so much for staying tuned tune in next time for our next episode bye